So we just got off the ferry in Norway, very, very excited now. And uh, yeah, got about four hours drive with a bit of charging to do to our start point up in Gendersheim. about three hours now and uh, yeah it's just stunning windy beautiful so I think now skirting around the peaks up here and they're going to come into that valley beyond there and then up towards uh, Glitterheim and yeah just having a ball this is what it's all about interesting got to cross this guy somehow so just getting my dinner on there the water's going yeah i had a river i had to cross a river um and kind of made a bit of a meal of it uh, but yeah in the end I just had to steam across uh, and get wet feet and everything but it was, it was fine and um, and then I had to find a place out of the wind for the tent which was a bit hectic anyway I'm sorted it's a bit late uh, but I'm gonna have some dinner and then go to bed basically so uh, yeah nice one morning then uh, day two uh, yeah I didn't sleep that well it was light all night I went to bed really really late um, but anyway day two got a massive day in theory today if I reckon it's around 28 kilometers and quite a bit of up and down and let's see what we find uh, in way of obstacles as well that river crossing yesterday I wasted like an hour on that but anyway um, yeah I'm just having a, a brew and, uh, and then I'm gonna pack up and get going. And I'll it. And now, can you see where we're going? There's no path as such, but 
red teas. So yeah, we're on our way. down in that valley down to the left and left again and then now I got this guy and into the next valley started out on that second leg but I've just come over with a bout of extreme exhaustion so I'm gonna camp um, and just reassess my plans it's totally cool and uh, yeah I've got a wicked spot to spend the night though a beautiful natural balcony on the hillside with just uh, gorgeous views I'll just turn this around but yeah I've got the river down there the valley up there with all the nutty peaks so yeah, pretty sweet, I can't complain. And it's now nearly four o'clock and I'm just gonna spend the afternoon chilling out. Day three, quick update, I slept really well, I'm feeling good. Today's the last day of good weather, it's gonna be really good today, at least till the afternoon. Um, so I've had a change of plan, I'm gonna head down an hour where I came from, it's now 10 to eight. Everything's packed up and ready to go. And I'm gonna go up over the top over Glitterton because tomorrow the weather's gonna be crappy, so not good for a peak. So I'm gonna do that peak, which uh, should be quite interesting up on the glacier. It's gonna be a long day. So uh, yeah, fingers crossed. I'm at 2,260 meters, so I've got about like 180, 190 meters vertical to get to the top. I'm gonna put crampons on now, and uh, yeah, I reckon a couple of hours should do it. Majestic, huh? Absolutely beautiful. Look at this, there's a cat. Well, here we are, top of Glitter Tent. This is going to be the high point of this five day trip. Pretty spectacular, don't you think? Pretty spectacular. Look at this down here. All the way. And then down there, I don't know if you can see, but you've got the glaciers down there, obviously. Not nearly as big as they used to be. Anyway, time to get off here and uh, start to head down. I think I've got four or five hours to get down. Let's see, I might stop the pitch. And that two pronged peak that you see there, that's the Galgen Peak, and that's uh, the one I was originally intending to go up. It's basically the same altitude as this one, it's a couple of meters taller. And that is the tallest peak in uh, in Scandinavia. Yeah, it looks pretty good. So, I've been coming down this that you can see behind me. 
Basically every other step you sink in up to the knee, up to the up to the hip, and then you have to try, try and kind of dig yourself out. So it's taking some time. Anyway, I reckon I'm about more than halfway now. Oh mate, it's full on. All right. Heading down from Glitterheim now, past the snow, and uh, yeah, just a bit of a knee buster all the way down now into the valley. Yeah, you, I don't know if you can tell from the film, but that's, I've just come down that. It was an absolute knee breaker. I'm really taking my time, but still, I've done the worst of it now. Got that to go, and then we get down into the valley, and then I think it's a long walk down that valley. Descent of the day now. It's uh, yeah down to a bit of Stalin, I think. But anyway, yeah, it's been a long day. It's been about ten hours on the go. I think got about an hour to drop down, maybe a bit less to drop down to where the hut is down there. Then if you can see there, you should be able to see the Galtopian. But yeah, it's been an epic day over Glitterton. It was a really nice, really good decision made this morning uh, to change the plans. The weather's been great. Right, that's me. Over and out. I yeah, just passed some guys heading up, uh, yeah, and he basically, he basically fell through and made that hole. So uh, I reckon that may be a no-go. So uh, yeah, I might have to go up or down to try and get across this stream. Let's have a look. Day four, I'm out on the trail quite late today actually. I, uh, yeah, I went to sleep quite late last night, I didn't wake up until half past eight, uh, which is good because I needed a sleep. Um, I fell a little bit yesterday just on a stupid place right on the flat and I hurt my foot, but that seems to be a lot better today, so that's great as well. So, yeah, behind me, you can see back there, that's the uh, Spiderstuhlen hut. I put up my tent quite near there and I actually went in and had some dinner uh, and had dinner with this guy Frank uh, so that was very nice to meet you. So yeah so now I'm heading down or up I should say this valley. That, that's the sign where the trail splits here. So Spitterstulen, where I've come from, back over there behind me, then over that way, that uh, goes over to Leavaspu. I'm heading up here uh, towards Gyendbu. So yeah, I reckon I'm gonna go over a ridge and then I'm gonna be up on some high ground. So let's see what that's like, because the weather's near, you know, getting a little bit of rain, the odd little break in the clouds. But yeah, really, really pretty walk along the river valley. It's been lovely. Uh, and then, yeah, I don't know if you can see, there's some really nice pointy peaks up there. I don't know if you get those, but they're really, really gorgeous. So yeah, that's where we are today. I'm about, uh, I guess, seven kilometers in, and um, yeah, we'll see where we get to. <laughs>
we go. This pass is a bit more of a killer than I was expecting. All the way up there. So yeah, and I wouldn't want to spend the night anywhere up here. So uh, yeah, better get on with it. You can see down there two big beautiful frozen lakes there's like waterfalls and water features cascades all underground rivers i mean it's just mental absolutely beautiful and this glacial circuit yeah. stunning with these big peaks on all sides uh yeah well worth it but still got a long way to go i need to get down now basically all the way but yeah what a day Ooh. sitting right on top of the pass is this little amazing blue swimming pool. Oh, I'm suggesting a dip. And here we go over into the next valley and down. And there is the beginning of the descent into the next valley, which also looks pretty frozen up here. Another lake down there, fully frozen. Anyway, let's try and work out what the best way down is. do a quick a quick little shot here so I've just come over the pass and I'm in this incredible snowball yeah and I just guess I'll let it speak for itself but there's like yeah I think three or four of these glacial lakes I've just come past two there's another one there behind it if you can see that and then another one down there and it's just stunning absolutely stunning no words for it really but yeah i need to press on and get down but yeah that's where i'm going down now past that lake there which i reckon will be the last of these glacial lakes i think but who knows and then down down looking uh, yeah fairly inviting and uh, yeah the weather's holding clouds about but they're staying pretty high get the crampons on and the wall kicking in steps with my toes which was exhausting but it was work so I just couldn't afford to have a fall. I sat down but I mean look it's just so steep that's where that massive waterfall comes down and then I'm going down this valley still 
absolutely pouring in rain. And that, which I've just walked through, is the trail. And that's where the water's coming from. Just while I'm waiting for my, din my dinner to rehydrate, yeah, I mean, it's absolutely throwing it down. It has been for about the last four hours on the trail. It's been a long day today, around 28 kilometers, and uh, about 12 hours on the trail, including that mental pass. But it's been well worth it. It was so amazing up there. I'm going to eat something here in the dry. And then hopefully maybe it'll stop anyway. I've got to set up my tent and then I'm just gonna sleep because I'm knackered and get up early and get on that boat. And then depending on the weather what the weather is like tomorrow, I may get off halfway and walk along the Bessigan Ridge. It's midnight, it's still it is actually still light outside, it's just because it's so overcast, it's a bit darker. Um it doesn't get dark overnight here. But um uh, yeah, it's still pouring, pouring with rain. I managed to get my tent set up. I'm nice and cozy in here now. Had dinner uh, and I'm just chilling out. Uh, I'm gonna go to sleep soon. Uh, but yeah, today's been epic. Another great one. All right, night y'all. Good morning, it's day five in the Jotunheim, last day on the trail today. At least I hope I'm gonna be on the trail. That's the kind of morning we're looking at. It's basically forecast is some rain. Let's see how much yesterday, yeah, I got a real, real soaking. You can see I've got my stuff trying to, I wouldn't say dry, but at least airing a bit there. But still, I think, Decent night, nice and warm in the tent. Everything stayed dry in the dry bags inside the rucksack, so that was good. Yeah, I'm gonna take the tent down now and then I'm going up over there, which is where the boat leaves. And it actually runs all the way up to where I left the car, but it stops halfway in Memunburu. And that's where I'm planning on uh, getting off to then to hike the, the Bessigan Ridge. Uh, today, which should be about seven or eight hours hiking, and then that will be me done. So just got the boat, you might be able to see it there in the background, to from uh, Genbu to Memamburu and I'm um, just starting off on my hike now up to the Bessigan Ridge, It'll be my last part of this five day trip which has been excellent. Weather's okay, wouldn't be surprised if we get wet, but uh, yeah, looking forward to this last day. I don't know why I have so much trouble saying this name correctly. Memurubu is where we are. So apologies for all the times I've got it wrong previously in this video. Memurubu. So just getting up onto the ridge now, these views are suitably spectacular. We're about 1,370 meters now. And right down there at the end of that lake is Gindersheim where I'm heading to. There you can see that. So you're on this ridge 
Mr. Runs Down. This lake down there, which is about 700 meter drop from here, pretty much vertical. And then you've got on this side this other lake with these two bodies of water at completely different levels. And yeah, on a clear day, this must be even more magnificent. But I'll take this. It's not raining and it is beautiful. system feeding into the lake there down the valley opposite and then this is the high lake which we're now going to cross across these rocks and head up into the cloud don't think I'll be taking that snow bridge So this is Upper Lake. And then down below, Lower Lake. So that's the route zigzagging all the way up that crest. That seemed pretty full on. Much more technical than I expected. Civilization. And there she is from this side, the Bassigan Ridge. I'm back in the luxury of my car, uh, just in time to avoid the this afternoon's thunderstorms. Anyway. Uh, if you've got through to the end of this film and you're still watching, then uh, thanks for that. I hope you've enjoyed it. And um, yeah, just say a few words to wrap up. So yeah, five days in Jotunheim in Norway. It has been magnificent, I have to say. Back of the envelope calculation, I reckon it's been about 100 kilometers overall in those, well, four and a half days really. And um, you know, 90% of that has been in pretty full on mountain terrain. You know, there've been a couple of nervous bits, but by and large, it's been very smooth. I've been really lucky with the weather because I mean, I know, look at it now, it's pouring. Um, and then today up on, up on the Bessigan Ridge, which was yeah, <laughs> more than I was, was expecting. I mean, round here, everything's more than you expect, I think. But it was great, yeah, it was really fun. And uh, and the weather held, so, so that's good. All right then, I'm out of here now. I'm heading down to Oslo and then back to Copenhagen. Um, hope you've enjoyed it. See ya. <laughs>